right now behind me it might just look like any other drift day a couple of guys working on their cars but i'll tell you what we've got three of the hardcore guys from the new zealand drift series banger dan gaz wider and sam groombridge they're all ripping from wongaray and i tell you what they got new cars they got new engines everything's going on it's wild and i can't wait to see fanger get out there and let rip in his new rb26 powered commodore oh uh, yeah we've got the old uh, rb26 Put a single turbo conversion on it. Yes, running uh, 350 kilowatts. I've been wanting to build a Holden for uh, the last three years, and uh, finally bought one last year. I was trying to work on some sponsorship. The original idea was Holden with uh, V8 supercharged, but um, just just couldn't get the sponsorship. And um, with the Nissan engine, it's you know the technology's there, it's reliable, and makes good power. There's another Holden in the mix. Uh, we, we built this car probably over the last year, um, just basically a, t a twin turbo V8, uh, six speed uh, dog box in it, built in suspension. This is a good compromise between power and um, drivability for drifting. And then there's Mad Mike Woodett with his new quad rotor. Um, yeah, just learning it's just so responsive, eh? so um, getting that, that switch point on the throttle where it's uh, to, to gain our traction. Um, oh, we're looking for a pretty good place and today I think we're feeling pretty confident for that, uh, coming off a win from last year. And a new rotary on the scene, driven by circuit racer Danum Templeman. Got our back against the wall, we did sort of one lap yesterday and the oil line blew off and you know, trying to learn the track when everyone had a day of it yesterday and you know, we've come a long way to try and qualify and I hope like shit we can qualify. And he right? qualifies 13th. We've got new sponsorship from Greedy now. Right. So we've changed the turbo extractors, um, exhaust, intercooler. There's a lot of real fast drivers here, so you never know what's going to happen. But So we had that four month break and done quite a lot under the bonnet. So we thought we wanted the whole car to look like it was new again. And qualifies the S14 third. <laughs> With a new power plant, Gaz Wider qualifying 10th. Money does help, but we just make sure we just get there no matter what. We just do everything on a budget. Just we don't we don't worry about flash paint or things like that. We see the essentials, tyres, gas, and just making sure the car's going to be reliable. Looking to take it out, Tiger White with the South Island Pride qualifies fourth. You know, there's I think 22 guys come down from up north or 23. Yeah. So obviously, it's 35 a lot of guys going today. home. Yeah. That, you know a long way home without qualifying. So if I qualify first, I mean, that's amazing, it's awesome. Exactly. Look at this great qualifying run here from Aaron Bennett. Smoke everywhere, full power, fourth gear, round the last sweeper, and it finishes number one qualifier.